Hi, I'm Christopher, and I'm part of the customer support team at Solidscape. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the operator functions to be performed between each job on your Solidscape high precision 3D printer. You can check the tank levels for Midas and melt materials in the top left corner of the printer user interface screen. We recommend running between 50% and 70% full in each tank. Without forcing, simply drop the crayon into the tank. Each crayon represents about 10% of a full tank. If adding more than one crayon, be sure to allow the recommended time between each. Non-toxic solidscape materials come in crayon form for dust-free, easy handling. For melt material, the wait is around 15 minutes. For Midas material, it's around 30 minutes. Always make sure your purge cup, purge wiper insert, and decapping station are clean and free of debris. If your purge cup is full or damaged, it should be replaced. The purge wiper insert should be clean and free of material and also inspected for any tears or rips in the wiper blade. When inserting the wiper blade back into the printer, listen for a click to make sure the wiper blade has snapped back into place. Lastly, you want to make sure your decapper is clean and free of debris. You can use a cotton swab to gently wipe the inside of the keyhole. Don't use anything sharp as you might cause damage to the white Teflon disc inside. It's important to make sure your print head purge caps and purge collars are clean. Gently remove the purge cap and clean any excess material that may have built up. It's also a good idea to inspect the purge cap for any cracks or tears and replace it if necessary. To clean the purge collar, you can use a cotton swab. After reinstalling the purge cap, repeat the process for the other printhead. To ensure safety, first make sure the interlock is open. This disables all the motors. Now you can move the cutter assembly toward the middle of the printer and safely open the cutter shroud. You can hold onto the motor belt to stabilize the blade and then clear off the excess material with a brush. To ensure optimum model quality, it's very important to keep the cutter blade completely clean. So it's well worth making it a habit of doing a regular cleaning. If there are large chunks of material stuck to the cutter blade, you can try a few different ways to remove them. You can use the white putty knife that comes with the printer. We recommend a weekly cleaning with warm VSO and isopropanol. To do that, you can use either the brush we used earlier or even a simple toothbrush will work. You'll want to clean with the warm VSO first, then the isopropanol to make sure that any excess buildup of support or build material is removed. A quick vacuuming of some key areas where debris tend to collect is a good idea and could avoid unnecessary hiccups if done on a regular basis. Start with the tabletop. Next, check underneath the cutter assembly for loose particles of material. If you find an excess amount here, it could be a sign that the printer's dust collector has inadequate suction. Check to see if the bag is full, it might need to be replaced. And you'll also want to vacuum around the material tank caps to keep that area clear. When you're ready to start a new print job, the first step is installing the build plate. Start by making sure the barcode label on the build plate is clean. This is important because the camera needs an accurate reading in order to set the correct table height for your particular build plate. Next, check the underside of the build plate as well as the tabletop to make sure there is no debris that could get in between the plate and the table. It's easier than ever to install a build plate on the S300 and S500 printers. Line up the two holes and simply drop into place. You'll hear a snap when the plate is secured. That's all there is to it. Now you're ready to start your next print job. On behalf of the Solidscape customer support team, we thank you for watching. Should you have any questions, please contact us or your local Solidscape service provider.